Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Roblother YouTube channel. Today, I want to give a full guide on importing and exporting on Roblox Studio and Blender because I've gotten so many questions about it. In today's video, we're going to discuss the top three ways, really the only three ways, to import your models from Blender onto Roblox. One way that's a bit outdated, but a lot of people still use it, and if you do, you're going to love me for this video. I also want to go over the difference between OBJ and FBX files because there seems to be some confusion in the comments for that and last but not least i want to show you guys a few common errors after importing and how to fix those so if any of this sounds good to you drop a like and let's get into the video so first things first let's go ahead and model something that will be our test subject for today's video i'm gonna simply model a head and a top hat and uh that will give me more than one object to show you guys kind of everything that we need to so we'll start out with a simple cylinder grab the top and the bottom face and control b to bevel there we go we now have a head and we're gonna do the same thing once again a cylinder grab the bottom face drag it up we'll press a and then scale everything up it's gonna be a very simple, a simple top hat, but it just has to get the point across. All right, so we now have a head and a top hat, and as you can see, in Blender, it is three separate pieces. We have the top hat, the band for the top hat, and the head itself. What we're gonna do is select all of this, and I'm gonna export it as an FBX and as an OBJ. To export an item, you're gonna wanna select all of the item, or items, file, export and then wavefront.obj or of course fbx i personally use fbx way more and i'll show you guys why in this video so let me export both of these it's the same spot wavefront obj now a very important thing while you're exporting you're going to want to check this box selected only then it's not going to export all that extra stuff that you don't really need in your model now we'll do the same as an fbx and we will call this test selected objects and export now that we have our two test objects i'm going to show you guys three ways to import on roblox one that people are still using to this day for zero reason at all you have to go to your workspace right click insert object and then you need a mesh part right here and now that you have your mesh part you gotta go over to it go find your file down here and then we open it up right here your mesh contains location data would you like yeah go ahead why not and there we go we finally have our mesh this was the obj and as you can see in roblox all of these are one item that's that's not good okay up next my favorite method is right here the asset manager if you don't see this tab no worries click on view and then right up here you can check asset manager and there's this that is bulk import. Let's go ahead and name this model, um, old way. <laughs> and just to, we'll color it black. Now, the new way to import is just click this button, go find what you wanna import, ours is test. Let's click open and apply all. Then we can just close this out, right click right here, insert with location, and here is our item. Now, these are both OBJs, and we'll get into what an FBX does uh, in just a second. The last way to import, just to wrap that one up, is click this home button, import 3D, find your model, ours is test, and this is the newest way on Roblox. There's a lot more options. We could change the name here. We can import only as a model. Add model to inventory, uh, no. Insert in workspace, yes. All of these other things, we can set it to anchored. And then there's all this stuff too, which I don't really ever get into. But a cool part is, when you have an FBX file, you can select which parts you wanna import. Kinda cool. We'll just click import so you guys can see how that works. Success, and there we go. That is the main three ways to import. Now, let's import the FBX file using any of these three ways. I'm going to use my favorite, aka this one right here, bulk import. And uh, let me show you the difference there. Actually, it might be cool to use the 3D import. And check this out. This is an FBX file. As you can see, we have a lot more options here because it's everything. We even have this viewport. So right here is just the head. Right here is just the top hat. And right here is just the band. So if we import this, we no longer have, uh, of course, our size because FBX doesn't really store size information, I don't think. But we could just scale it down. And the best part about FBX 
Instead of OBJ, in my opinion, is check this out. Instead of one solid color for the whole thing, we can now click each individual thing. Say we want a purple hat with a white band and a, a tan head. We were able to pick our colors and our materials individually. So unless you're going to texture in Blender, uh, FBX is definitely the way to go. Now let's get into a few common problems. If all of this is one item, aka joined together, it doesn't matter if you export it as an OBJ or an FBX because it's one model. What you're going to want to do if you have one model, but you know you want a part of it to be a different color in studio is click that part. So let's grab the band right here, then press P and selection. And then we're going to press L to select the hat and do the same thing, P and selection. Now we have three different parts and we can export as an FBX and color these three different parts in studio. One of the most common issues people have is a invisible mesh. Uh, let me show you guys kind of what that is. So I just broke my mesh on purpose off of the video and check this out. If we go up to this tab right here, we can click on face orientation. This is always nice to check before you export your mesh. And this is why. So our hat is all red right now, meaning it will be invisible in Roblox Studio. All of the visible faces are on the inside of this hat. So if we fly on in here, this is all blue and then this is all red. So to fix this invisible face issue, you just wanna click on the object, click tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything and then Alt N and then flip. You can also do Shift N and it automatically recalculates stuff. Uh, but that is the biggest issue that everyone seems to have. Why is it invisible? That's why guys it's just flipped faces when you only see the back of the face most game engines render that as invisible so all you have to do is hop into blender flip your faces and there you go you're good to go now two more common issues we're gonna go over real fast is too many vertices which doesn't really happen if you use the import 3d option on roblox right here it seems let's just import this this random thing uh it seems that this can go up to i believe 50k uh per object now i wouldn't really recommend that because, you know, most of the players are on phones and you want to make your game as optimized as possible. But if you're using any other method, you are capped at, I believe it's 10,000 vertices. Now let's just, we'll go ahead and subdivide this. We're sort of creating the problem. So now, as you can see, this is a very dense grid. And uh, right down here, it has 491,000 triangles. That is a no-go, senor. Now there's a lot of ways you could fix this. Uh, the most time consuming way would be grabbing the lines like so that we don't need and then we could do x and dissolve edges now you could do this throughout the whole mesh and it would keep a very nice topology but it definitely does take a lot more time the easiest way to do it and probably a bit frowned upon in the triple a game dev space but we're on roblox so things kind of slide would go to your modifiers and click decimate now if you crank this all the way down your shape is going to turn into like nothing pretty much as you can see it's it's a triangular plane and excuse my blender it's it's lagging pretty bad <laughs> it actually might crash but guys uh it's gonna freeze right now so i'll just say it usually if you do decimate set it to 0.5 if it's still too many vertices to import apply your decimate and then do another 0.5 if you go all the way down to one you're gonna end up with this if you do 0.5 twice uh you usually are still pretty good and then the last thing but not least sorry i can't demonstrate it my blender is super Super broken would be the no vertices found most of the time when this happens you exported your object while in edit mode so just make sure when you go to export your stuff that you are in object mode and you are selecting every one of your objects that you want to import as long as you do that you should have no issues at all but guys i do think that's gonna wrap up today's video if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later